What is up guys? It is Justin here with a pickups video and I am coming out of one of if not the worst video game hunting slumps that I've been in probably since I started making videos. Uh, these last couple months have been absolutely terrible for game finds. I, I picked up like one or two things here and there but nothing that warranted uh, a pickup video until just the other morning I picked up a pretty nice lot with a pretty bizarre backstory. So I'm gonna get right into this here. Uh, I woke up the other morning to a text message from a number that I didn't recognize, um, but it said something along the lines of, hey Justin, I found the NES and the 3DO games if you're still interested. So I'm thinking to myself, NES and 3DO games? And then I remembered, um, not this past summer, but the summer of before, I think it was like August 2014, I had went to a garage sale and ended up picking up a box 3DO system from a guy. Um, he also had a ColecoVision and some games that I picked up. And um, when I bought those, I asked him if he had any other game stuff he was looking to sell. And I think a day or two later, I ended up picking up like an NES from him with a bunch of games and uh, a Genesis with a bunch of games. I, th I think I actually still have some pictures on my phone of these hauls, so if I do, I'm sure they will be displayed for you guys. But anyway, when I picked all that stuff up from him, he kept telling me, you know, I know I have more games for, for these systems somewhere. If I ever find them, uh, I'll get a hold of you. And so I never expected to hear back from him. You guys know how that goes, right? But sure enough, almost a year and a half later, I, he texts me and lets me know that he found the game. So uh, I responded to the message. I said, um, uh, yeah, I would definitely be interested. Would you be able to send me a picture of what you found? And that's when he told me that uh, if I was willing to come pick them up, that I could actually just have them for free. So I was like, oh, well, that would be awesome. <laughs> and uh, he also told me he had a Super Nintendo system and, and an N64 system with some games um, that he was looking to sell, and then I could check that stuff out too when I came to pick up the rest of the game. So luckily he was available that same day, and I went up there before work, and I guess I will start out by showing uh, the free stuff that I got. Uh, I guess you could argue that I paid for it, you know, back in August 2014 when I bought the rest of the stuff, but it's been so long that I'm, I'm pretty much considering these free games at this point. So, I'll start out with the NES games. There was just a few of them, three of them here, I think, and they're nothing too great, but who's going to complain with free games? Uh, we got Wizards and Warriors, a copy of Faxanadu, and finally a copy of Galaga. So next I will show the uh, the 3DO games that I got. Uh, actually a few long box 3DO games here, which is cool. And there's a couple uh, loose ones in here as well. So I will start out I'll start out strong with uh, some John Madden football. Oh, we also got Theme Park. Uh, I think it's Sim Theme Park. Looks like a Sim game. Uh, Hell, a cyberpunk thriller. Slam and Jam 95. And the final long box game here is Quarantine. And there's also a few loose ones in there as well. Uh, we got uh, Shanghai Triple Threat. And I believe that one came with the... Yeah, here's a manual for that one there. And then we also got this set here, which was kind of cool. Um, it's in this cool uh, 3DO sleeve. And uh, it kind of leads me to believe it might have been like a pack-in with a system or something. I don't know, uh, I'm not a huge 3DO guy, but someone can drop a comment and let me know. But the games in here were um, Slayer, which I think is a yeah, Dungeons & Dragons game. Um, that one had the manual with it. And then FIFA International Soccer, which also had the manual. So that was all for the 3DO stuff. And there was one final game in this box. It was actually a Sega Genesis game, and this is one of the more bizarre parts of the story because back in 2014 when I had uh, bought that Genesis lot from him, um, he had one game in there that was just the case and the manual. There was no game, and it was a little bit disappointing at the time because uh, it was one of the better games, if not the best game in the lot. It was definitely one that I didn't have for my collection yet, and it was missing the game. So ever since then, I've been kind of looking on eBay, trying to find just a loose cartridge or something to complete that copy, and the price of the game just kept going up and up and up. Eventually, I just said, screw it, you know, if, if I find one for a good price down the road, cool. If not, then, you know, whatever. But, lo and behold, the one game <laughs> in this box, the one Genesis game anyway, um, happened to be the game that was missing from that case back in 2014. Uh, it was Haunting Starring Polterguy. 
And I actually still have um, the case and manual here that I got from them. Um, you know, I never really had anything to do with it. But uh, there it is. And now the uh, cartridge is finally going to go back to its rightful home. Um, so that, like I said, that was just one of the more bizarre parts of the story. Um, the one Genesis game in there happened to be the one that was missing. Um, so that was awesome. And, you know, a very cool looking game as well. Um, and one that's getting more expensive. Like I said, I've seen the price of, of just the cartridge going up and up. Uh, back when I was originally looking, I think I had lost a couple of eBay auctions for like 10 or 15 bucks for the cartridge. But now I think even card only you'd be pretty uh, hard pressed to get one for under like 25, 30 bucks. So I don't know what the complete copy is going for. But regardless, very happy to complete that one. So I'm going to clear myself some room here and I will move on and show you guys the rest of the stuff that I picked up. So next up I will talk about the Super Nintendo stuff. Uh, he actually had the system hooked up to a TV in his basement, uh, I guess just to show me that it worked. Uh, but it looked to be working fine and I did end up picking it up off of him. I'll let you guys know what I paid for everything that I actually bought at the end of the video. But here's the uh, Super Nintendo system I got here. Uh, it's extremely yellow, but it's actually not in terrible shape. Um, it's got a couple chips in the plastic towards the back of the system, like one there and one on this corner. But overall, it's, it's in pretty nice shape. Uh, it does have the plastic piece in the AC port there. And again, I saw it running. Um, he had it hooked up, so I knew that it worked. Uh, it came with uh, two first-party controllers here, uh, one of which is a little more white than the other one. And then it also came with uh, both the original adapters, original AC adapter and an RF cord there. And it just had two games with it. Uh, the one he had running in the system was Super Mario World and then the other game that came with it was NHL 96. Which somehow the top half of the cartridge got yellowed but the bottom half is still white. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> but anyway, the whole time he's trying to demonstrate the system to me and show me that it works and everything, I'm just eyeing up this stack of N64 games that I saw sitting across the room. Uh, there was one game in particular that I saw and I was like, could it be? Could it be? So, next up, uh, he brings me over to the N64 system that he had hooked up to another TV. He was showing me that it worked and everything. Um, the whole time I'm just thinking about that N64 game over there. So finally he brings me over to the stack of N64 games. And that's when I noticed that sitting next to the stack of games was his laptop that was open to eBay and I was just like oh my god you know I'm like I'm never gonna get a deal on this stuff so he even picked out a couple of the games and he's like yeah I saw these ones were going for quite a bit of money like and I was like oh yeah you know kinda just going along with it or whatever and um, so eventually we got down to talking price and uh, he was like he was like yeah he's like I know some of these go for some money but I'll tell you what if you want both the Super Nintendo and the N64 and all the games and everything, I'll do everything for $100. And, you know, I was just like, deal. I didn't even try to haggle with them or anything. Um, luckily, you know, I had brought about a hundred and some dollars with me. Um, so it kind of, it was just kind of perfect. I knew that was a good deal. Um, so I will show you guys the rest of the stuff that I picked up here. Uh, the N64 stuff. We got the system here. Uh, a black system. Um, I was kind of surprised that it did not have the expansion pack in there. Uh, you guys will see why in a minute here. But there's a system there. It came with um, one first party controller, um, which is like immaculate, like brand new. I mean, the joystick is not loose at all. And then the other controller was, um, it was a third party Mad Cats controller. Uh, I don't think I've ever owned one of these that actually worked, so we'll see on that. <laughs> and then it also had uh, both of the adapters here. AC and uh, the AV adapters. So, move on next to the N64 games. Uh, definitely the best part of the deal here. There's not a whole lot of them, but some decent titles in here. So, we will once again start out strong with some football. Uh, NFL Quarterback Club 98. Got a copy of South Park. Duke Nukem 64. Uh, one of the good ones in there was a holographic Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Copy of Perfect Dark. Nightmare Creatures. And this is the one here that he had hooked up in the system uh, when he was demonstrating it to me. Uh, Resident Evil 2. It's in pretty nice shape too. Might even be better than mine, I'll have to check. And then here's the, the final game. This is the one that I was eyeing up from across the room. Um, the one that I knew was worth the most. The one that he knew was worth the most. Um, but sure enough, it is a copy of Conker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> it's 
been a long time since um, I've, I've found a copy of this game. It's not in perfect shape. Um, I have to clean up the top of the cartridge a little bit. There's a little bit of dirt above the label there, which I should be able to get off. And the, the top of the, the corner of the label is a little bit wrinkled there. It's not too bad, though. I mean, it's, it's still in pretty good condition. And like I said, I was just amazed that I got the deal that I got on this. Um, obviously, him knowing what everything was worth, he was obviously, you know, looking to hook me up with a deal, you know, he was probably just looking to get rid of the stuff, but wanted to make sure he got a fair price for it. Um, so anyway, yeah, I went ahead and I paid him um, the $100 for everything. <laughs> and that's when he, he mentioned, he's like, oh, you know, he's like, I do have um, this other small box of stuff over here. Um, you know, I kind of figured you were going to try and talk me down a little bit. I was going to throw this stuff in to sweeten the deal. But uh, since you gave me my asking price, you can go ahead and just have the rest of the stuff for free. And so, kind of a little sly move on his part there, but I can't complain because I'm kind of the same way. But um, anyway, he ended up giving me um, a few more accessories that he had kind of stashed away in the corner of his basement. Um, he gave me this here, which is a Sega Master System light phaser, which <laughs> I was kind of uh, surprised he had. I mean, I think back when I got that Genesis lot from him um, two summers ago, he did have some Master System games that I got with it, but he never had the Master System uh, system. So, I don't know, maybe he's still got that somewhere, maybe another year and a half I'll get a text from him saying uh, he found the Master System and I'll get a deal on that too, but there's the gun for it. Um, there was also a Mad Cats PS2 controller in there, and then two 3DO controllers, and they're both in their boxes. This one here uh, looks like a Gold Star 3DO control pad, uh, really, really nice condition in the box here, and um, oh, it's a really heavy duty box, so that's probably why it's in such good condition. But that was really cool for him to throw that in. And then this one here, um, it looks like a per performance brand, but it's actually still factory sealed uh, for the most part. I think the box is a little bit crushed and it's kind of coming apart on that side there. But you can tell it's never been opened. Um, so that was kind of cool. I mean, just to get some free stuff thrown in, um, some more th free stuff thrown in, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, super awesome deal. Um, kind of brought me out of my game hunting slump. Um, and, you know, for $100, um, you know, I really can't complain with that price, especially seeing as he knew pretty much what everything was worth and was still willing to sell that, sell everything to me for that price, uh, which was awesome. He's obviously a good guy. Um, and like I said, you never know. A year and a half down the road, I might get another text from him. He's got some more stuff he wants to sell me. Uh, he did mention he was having another garage sale. Um, I think, well, it's coming out winter time now, so it'll be next summer. But um, maybe I'll hit that up and see if he's got any more stuff. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for sticking around and checking out this pickups video, and until next time, take care.